Today we're unboxing a Stetson Open Road. So I'm not a real big unboxing fan, uh, however the algorithms like it. We've got a Stetson Open Road here as I stated, and uh, this is what the box looks like, Stetson on the front. Um, it's got your size, brim, uh, brim width, um, obviously model number, color, so check that out before you open it up. Um, there's two latches on either side. Inside your hat. Inside the hat's in a bag. And there's also a foam um, protection in there. Inside the box is a hat ring where your hat, the brim of the hat, um, rests on there and gives a, a protection for the crown. Out of the bag. And there you go. One Stetson open road. So my suggestion to you for storage in case you move or you got to ship it somewhere. I don't know why you would need to ship it somewhere. However, what I would do is save this box uh, for seasonal storage. Um, like I said, in case you move or something like that. Um, it keeps it dust free. Uh, it keeps that ring in there. It keeps the hat from getting deformed. You stack your hats on top of each other, they're going to crush, it's going to ruin the, the ribbon on them. Um, it's just a, a bad thing to do. The best, best place to store your hat is inside a box, um, especially seasonally when it's going to be there for a few months. Store it in a cool, dry place away from uh, sunlight, and uh, your hat will last you a long time. So just a suggestion there. So the hat itself is um, what is called the Western Fedora. Um, it's been around for a long time. The originals um, were an open crown hat, so you could get it shaped however you wanted. And the crown, I believe, was larger uh, back in the day. I mean, we're probably going back to the 30s, 20s, something like that. Um, it has a four and a half inch crown on it. It has a cattleman crease. Um, it has a two and three quarter inch um, brim on it. it. Has a gross grain, G R O S G R G R A I N, uh, gross grain ribbon. Uh, this ribbon is a little bit buggered up, uh, but a little bit of steam will take care of that. Uh, it also has a bound edge in gross grain ribbon. It finishes it uh, a little bit nicer. Um, instead of a raw edge. It does have a flange or a snap brim. Typically the um, open road is uh, worn up, but however some people do wear it for fedora style or um, safari style, <laughs> um, but that's rare. On the side you have the Stetson um, roping cowboy with the lariat. Um, Inside is a satin liner with the uh, Stetson logo, your size information just like on the side of the box, um, ribbon in the back to tell you where the back of your hat is. I mean, they put these in there um, many years ago, decades ago when the hats were around so you could grab it. When you grabbed your hat you knew where the back was so you could put it on that look a fool. Um, Inside it does have the open road logo on the side. There's the Stetson um, Stetson logo um, And pretty much that's all the components. nice leather uh, leather sweatband. This is uh, made of um, high quality fedora rabbit fur um, Fur felt not wool felt um, It is not as um, weather resistant as wool felt uh, however, this is the Royal Deluxe. This is a open road Royal Deluxe. So this has the Stetson top quality fedora felt in it. Um, you can really tell the difference. Um, 
between this and like the 6X. Um, this uh, felt is thicker than Fedora felt. So you got a more of a Western style hardness to it. Uh, or is a Fedora, this is a Stradaliner, Stetson Stradaliner. And you can definitely tell the, um, the the felt is a lot softer on this compared to this. This is made for, not I wouldn't say working, however, it's made for um, someone who's uh, maybe not sitting in an office. So one of the things um, in shipping, I ordered this direct from Stetson. It took about took them about three days to gather the order and ship. And what I noticed was um, it didn't, it came from a um, outfitter in, in Colorado um, and not directly from Stetson. Uh, so that was kind of odd. I don't know if they're, they're holding ship, you know, holding uh, inventory at different places um, and, and not shipping directly out of Stetson. Stetson's been having a lot of trouble with um, stocking hats so you got to get on a waiting list and eventually it will uh, it will get to you and like I said this came via a outfitter in uh, Colorado so uh, the color um, is more brownish than you would see in uh, the uh, Stetson uh, website or some of the websites that you see um, you can probably see that color here um, in the light it's it's on the camera that I'm seeing, it does look dark, lighter. It's more of a brown color in person. And there's that Stetson logo with the lassoing rider. A little close up of the liner and the um, sweatband. So the next thing I'd like to do is to compare it to uh, the Open Road I bought about four years ago. Um, the, the Open Road is my favorite hat to, to wear to work. I'm, I work in construction as a project manager and um, wearing a large uh, Western hat uh, is uh, not, um, uh, not functional um, just due to its size and stuff like that. So this, these work out really well. Um, the way I part my hair um, in sunny Arizona, it uh, you really need to put some type of hat and have some type of sun protection. So um, open roads work really well. So this is my um, open road that I, that I bought uh, maybe about four years ago or so. Uh, wear it just about every day in the cooler weather from I'd say October to probably uh, first of June, somewhere around there. And then I switched to straw. And uh, speaking of straw, um, open roads do come in straw. This is a Shantung straw. This is also a uh, uh, cognac. So back to the comparison, um, I noticed that the, the weight of the older one is much heavier. Um, it is a little stiffer than, than the new one. Um, I noticed some quality issues um, that there's some soft spots in this one, like along here and along the back, I'm gonna have to use some stiffener, um, but the um, thickness of the felt feels, um, definitely feels a lot lighter in the new one. And also you can probably see um, the bound edge is thicker on the green one on the older one than it is on the new one and i did notice some stitching flaws i also noticed a stitching flaw right in the uh, sweatband down here these are not cheap hats um, you know, your expectation, especially coming from a company like Stepson with one of their premium hats, is that you don't have these issues. I guess it's kind of nitpicking, um, but it uh, I would not expect that. This, this one uh, was perfect when I got it. Excellent hat. This one I have some, a few issues with, things that I can probably deal with on my own. Just like I said, with re-stiffening the side, 
um, and um, getting it set up. So anyway, um, as far as quality, I'm, I'm not as impressed as I thought it, I would be. As far as fitment goes, generally Stetson, and that's why I stick with Stetson, I'm a, I'm a, a perfect 7 and 5 eighths, um, 61, 61 centimeters is, is the um, is a di uh, radius, not radius, um, circumference. So that's what a 758 is. This fit perfect from the day, as soon as I put it on, the day I put it on, um, it just it just fit um, like a glove. It was like I had the hat for years. Uh, this one is definitely on the small side. Um, and you think, well, maybe you could probably stretch it. However, premium quality hats have a fiber that runs around inside the sweatband that maintains size and this is off probably about a millimeter or two just enough to make it a little bit uh, a little bit less comfortable so I think maybe with some break in um, as the uh, sweatband collapses a little bit it should fit better I mean it's not horrible but it's just enough to notice you know when you're um, expecting a premium quality hat it should fit. I mean, all my other Stetsons are, are um, fit really well. I like to set my hats up uh, pretty much the same. Um, I like to go along the lines of the, um, the other version of uh, the Stetson Open Road. Uh, it's called the 1865 and it comes with a uh, pheasant feather in it and um, it has some distressing on it. I'm not a big fan of fake distressing. I figure my hats will get distressed on their own. The fake distressing looks fake. However, I did like the feather and most of my hats I put on a um, horsehair hat band. Well, this one in particular has a um, turquoise color to it. And uh, if you see this one, This one also has a, a wing feather from a pheasant on it and also has the horsehair hat band. So a few tips before I go. Um, if you're going to invest in a premium quality hat, you want to maintain that investment. Um, a few things, uh, the best plate ways to, uh, to uh, store your hat short term if you're using it is upside down. Second would be to hang it. Um, and long term storage, or if you're into fighting boxes, um, the best place is, is inside the box. However, um, hats do take some care. Um, I would suggest these are all pretty cheap. I think this is like eight bucks. Uh, this is a hat brush. Um, I'll do a video um, on hat care at some point, but this is an actual hat brush. It's a uh, soft, um, soft bristles and um, brush off your hat, gets rid of dust, stands up the fibers. Um, this is also a dust remover. Um, everything is counterclockwise when you, when you clean a hat. Stiffeners, uh, professionals, uh, some use a professional hat stiffener. Uh, some of uh, folks use just regular hairspray, extra hold hairspray. Both work well. Um, just keep it back a little bit and don't uh, don't overdo it. Uh, one of the things you should get possibly, and this is like I think this was like six bucks. It's a uh, uh, not a hat stretcher. Yeah, I suppose it's a hat stretcher. Um, it's not really going to stretch your hat for you. But when you're working on your hat, um, you, you can have, it goes inside where the brim is, just like that. It gives you kind of a handle when you're, when you're uh, brushing out your hats. And also, a little steamer, I think this is like 15, 20 bucks. Um, when, you're, when you brush out your hat, uh, it allows you to um, bring those fibers back up and then uh, really get the dust out. Um, it just rejuvenates the felt. Um, don't go crazy with it. There's um, all kinds of videos online uh, that, that'll teach you how to use this stuff and the best way to care for your hat. Um, it's probably 
you know, like I said, you probably got maybe 30 or 40 bucks worth of stuff here. If you've got multiple hats, it's definitely worth the investment. If you've, if you've paid a couple of 300 or more for a hat, um, you want to maintain that or those investments as best you can. A good felt hat will probably last you a lifetime if well taken care of. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. Please uh, comment, subscribe, ding that bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. Like and share. Adios.